I just cannot believe that I was over at Kenville after 2 o'clock tonight decorating their tree, and here I am suddenly decorating your tree. Oh. How's that? How's that? That's perfect. Good. Good. Let's go. go get some cider. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> I am so glad that you are home for Christmas. Do you know that? Well, I wouldn't want to spend it anywhere else. <laughs> Connie, I need to get the tree, get it in the house, get it up, help with decorations. Well, actually, I already picked out the tree earlier today. Got it tagged, and they're going to deliver it in the morning. Heck, I'll even play Santa if you want me to. Oh, okay. <laughs> Barbara, come over here and sit down. You must be exhausted. Uh, <clears throat> actually, I'm exhausted and a little numb besides. <laughs> I hadn't really planned to make my announcement at Kim and Bob's, but I certainly can't hide my condition much longer, that's for sure. You know what, though? I'm really proud of the way you handled it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, I had a little practice with Bob and Kim. Now I just have to stick to my original story and say that Hal and I had spent time together this summer and we were trying to work things out, but then we realized that it would never happen. You know, when the truth about Jennifer finally came out, I thought that I was all through with lies, but I guess not. Well, Barbara, at least this one wasn't of your own making. Honey, you just... You just have to be... Uh, you have to understand that we know that Hal is gone, but for your sake, Jennifer's sake, and Hal's family, we cannot make it public. Uh, that's probably somebody that I invited over after the wedding. Hey, Hi. Uh, come on in. You missed. We just finished Listen, the tree. I just wanted to tell you that the truth about Aaron came out this evening. It really hit the fan. And uh, um, give me a coat. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's. Uh... Oh, I didn't know you had company. Oh, I just can't believe that Cindy would do something like this. I mean, not only to Holden's family, but to Lily. The woman needs help. I've told her that. Look, I'm sure it's devastating to Lily, but I'm glad the truth's out about Aaron. I just can't believe that Andy was part of this cover-up the whole time. Never even said a word to me. Don't blame him. The three of us were having such a hard time keeping it a secret. We're so afraid the truth would come out about the whole thing. I hope there's no problem, uh, Barbara, you and Paul. You'll be discreet about this, you know, don't worry. So you think Lily and Emma are going to tell Holden? I think so. I don't think they believe that he's up to here. Oh, like but John, if Oh, well, come on. For really crying out loud, the guy doesn't even know who he is, for crying out loud. He just may up, he runs away, he never comes back. Mm -hmm. The problem here is that it never should have been a secret in the first place. I really believe that Lillian Holden could have handled this whole thing. Well, you do. Well, that's easy for you to say with your 20-20 hindsight. But back when we were all wrestling with the whole idea, we didn't know what in the world to do about it. And then finally, Iva came up with what we thought was a perfect solution. She would adopt Aaron. And then we just hoped that no one would ever find out the truth. Otherwise, if they had, Lily and Holden, they would, they would just torn them apart. I certainly know what it is to invent a lie to protect people that you love. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you. It's just too bad that Lucinda ever found out. Well, isn't that the truth? Lucinda's like a dog with a bone. I mean, she was suspicious from the very, very beginning. She really was. And from first, when first found out that Judy was pregnant, what? If she'd found out the truth, she would have gone straight to Holden and to Lily and told them they never would have made it to the altar. Yeah, but I think that Lily's more upset with the fact that Lucinda and Iva lied to her for such a long period of time. I know that Iva's worried that she may have lost Lily's love for life. Well, I do wish there was something I could do for her, but I'm sure she's angry with me. They're all angry with me. I'm the one that instigated this whole lie, but I was only trying to protect everybody. Mom, just give it some time. The time. John, is Andy's name still on the birth certificate? Mm. Yes. Tom says if we make an issue of it, they could reopen the adoption. It could be invalidated. Iva could lose Aaron. Oh, that's right. Okay. On to a lighter note, Lisa. Uh, it's really sweet of you to give that honeymoon to Andy and Courtney in the Caribbean. It's a nice place to go this time of year. <laughs> well, shucks. Why not? I mean, everyone should have a happy honeymoon. I should know I've had six of them. <laughs> no, listen, Andy, don't do that now. Come on, you have a good time, all right? Good. Hey. So long. Hey. Come on in. Can I get you some cider? I'll get it. Only if you put a shot of vodka in it. Whoa, what's wrong? Well, I spent the... Evening over at Lily's, and then back at Lucinda's. Oh, so, uh, so I guess you know, huh? Yeah. And I guess you should know that from here on out, my relationship with Lucinda's gonna be, uh, strictly business. 